For a real cluster today, smoke on the track shut down a stretch of the red line right in the middle of the morning rush. Metro's top leader blames electrical problems he says are decades old. Here's transportation reporter Pete Muntean. I've been down on the tracks and it's really dangerous down there. The electrified third rail is 750 volts, a lot of power. It runs in a closed loop from a power supply through the third rail to the train and its motors. Then it leaves the train through the two other rails. But sometimes that circuit can get broken. Things called insulators keep the rails from touching the ground. Sometimes those insulators can break down over time and that current can leak into smaller parts of the track and the ground itself. That's called a stray current leak. And when trains are running over the ground every three minutes, like they are during the morning rush, that can build up a lot of electricity and a lot of heat. That can lead to an arc causing other parts like track bolts to get really hot. We made a model of an arc here for you. Essentially, it's a long, hot spark that can get really, really bright. It's strong enough to melt parts of tracks and start a fire. Anything involving electricity is a, a big deal. Stephen Rapetsky is a Metro watchdog on Twitter and writer. He says Thursday's incident is the third on the same section of the red line. For him, it stresses how Metro can't ignore its finicky power system. The years of deferred maintenance and uh, not non-routine upkeep that are coming back to bite Metro in the butt. Pete Muntean, WUSA 9. One more good bit of advice from Pete. Do not try that at home. Yeah, he almost burned down the studio. Hope the bosses aren't watching. Well, we heard from a